bring it. I mean, literally, literally bring the battery. That's my honey. My honey knows how to bring it. It on? Yeah, but we're still pinching a little more oh. with the uh, vice. The whole idea is creating surface area. You want as much of that coffer inside touching. As much of that. Yeah. As possible. Exactly. So I figured the way I was doing it was better. So do you do two indentations on one side? Just one on this side. Oh. Wow, that was pretty cool actually. And it creates a very, very, a lot of surface area being touched by the lug. And it's crimped in all different directions. <laughs> yeah, it's pinching this. Heck yeah. There we go. That's one. Very cool. That's the way I do it. And this turns that thing into a taco. Yeah. It's a taco maker. <sighs> There it is. And then I come back with this. The finishing touch. Yes. It is. I love electrical tape. I think it's the most pleasant of tapes to work with. I agree. It's smooth and it sticks when and where you want it to, but not when you don't. Yeah, and it, it, it evens itself out. Strange. And how you, yeah, when you stretch it on, it like tightens down. Mm -hmm. Love that. And it doesn't crinkle up when you're trying to work with it. That makes Except it a happy that. tape. <laughs> Last one, baby. Last one. You can do it. Okay. There we go. Nice. Look at that. The two other bolts are out there in the box. Oh. Now we need to finish this. Will you go get the orange box out of the house? The little orange battery monitor box? I think I know what you're talking about. Oh man, such a bummer. The sun has already gone down behind the mountains, so I guess we won't get to test our solar system today. Darn it. We'll have to wait for morning. Did you just put that on the wall? Yeah. And that's the terminal box? That's one of them. We have two of them that's oh. going in today. This is our positive terminal block. Are you positive? I'm 
I'm pretty positive about this. <laughs> Positively. Now, we somehow need to figure out how to incorporate this dude into this. Why is it different? This is a fuse. So we need to bridge that. fuse on. There we go. Now where's the other terminal block at? Here. Okay, now we need the orange box. Right there. Battery side right here. Go. That's a beast. Power of the house, and that's our negative. These are like the shortest runs possible. It's so good what we're doing right now. Yep, that was the midnight solar controller turning on. Nice. This is the positive for the all that stuff, I think. All right, get ready for power in the building. Okay, I'm ready for power in the building, or the bus, as the case may be. <laughs> Things coming on. Throw some lights in here. Sure. That's How's better. that? A, lot A little more helpful. Yeah. So right now, are these lights running on the charge that's just already in these batteries? Yes. Gotcha. <gasps> Jesus Christ. That was scary. Yeah, it scared me too. <laughs> Why did it do that? Did it touch the wrong thing? Yeah, I was just charging something in there really fast, i.e. some light capacitor or something. Uh -huh. Okay, we gotta turn this to AGM. It's resting, it says. Resting, gotcha. It'll wake up in the morning. Look at what a crazy jumble of wire it looks right now. It looks like a mad scientist was here. What's that for? This right here, the battery monitor. Oh. I just need to go from here to there, I guess. Uh-oh. He's breaking out the instructions. That's always a scary moment. 14 millimeter. Are you? <laughs> Where'd it go? What the crap? Oh, maybe it's my pocket. That was pretty funny. Oh, maybe it's in my pocket. Pocket man! So we gotta do a little shoring up the wires and clean up it. For all intents and purposes, intents and purposes. We're off the grid. Now we have this fancy dude right here. 
This is our Victron energy monitor, which I'm going to mount in there. Is it working? Thousand amp hours. No, it's that's on the uh, charger coming from our shore power right now. But for now, that's okay. There we go. So we're let me think. Let me do this. Okay, now look at it. So minus means we're draining. Right we're now, using battery yeah. power and draining the battery. So as we turn off our lights and the different things in the bus, it uses less and less and less. We're using three amps right now. That's our cameras running. Our cameras? Oh, our security cameras yes. running. So now we're drawing seven, seven and a half amps with our main lights on in the house. Yeah. And the cameras are, and the cameras. Yeah. So what's it say now? Six, six, six. Dude, we're using remarkably a little bit of power in this thing. Very cool. So, okay, cool. That's all running on battery right here. Ooh, yeah. So I turned that on. We have to do some shoring up because we can't have those wires just bouncing around like that. The amount of power flowing through those batteries is like, it's so major. You, oh my God. <laughs> Not just fireworks, it'd be like just playing fire. <laughs> a lot of it. Fire, hellfire and damnation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna just have to tidy up this whole little section. Yeah. Where's the other two? Sure, check your pockets. Nice work, baby. For now, we're done. And happily so. Let's yeah, see. I want to eat. Yeah, me too. I haven't eaten enough today. We've done good here today. You've done marvelous. I can't wait till tomorrow, till sun is shining on our solar panels. Yeah, then we can test to see how much actually the air conditioning actually draws. That little, little tiny little thing like that uh -huh. does all of it. It's amazing. Basically, if it's in the positive, it's a total win. All right. Well, <laughs> I can't fine. even. Here, I'll get you the lights. You don't die getting out of here. <laughs> I got it. Whew, hi. It's freezing so out there. So how's it going out there? We are officially off grid right now. We are? But I'm still monitoring to make sure that it stays that way. Wow. And I didn't switch it to internal power, but I don't think that matters right now. Good morning, guys. We have to go out and check on the bus. I already turned on the, um, so I turned on the solar this morning. Well, actually I turned off the shoreline this morning is what I did. And uh, now we're like on solar power for the first time uh, with our big battery system here. And so I just need to come out and make sure that everything's doing what it's supposed to do right now. First, we're gonna switch to uh, ex internal power. Okay, we are on internal power. Okay, here is the charge controller doing its thing. Okay, well, here's what's going on. It's bouncing around like that just uh, because of random power usage and whatever, but essentially uh, we're at a positive one amp or so. It, when it shows a negative number, it means we're using it. So let's turn on the fridge, which is right here. So it's on, solar immediately compensated it for it and it doesn't show, it's, it's just putting the, it's keeping the battery in a, uh, a float mode right now. So basically I turned on the refrigerator and the, um, 
essentially we're running off solar, 100% off solar right now. We're not running off the batteries at all. And that won't occur until the evening when, uh, when the sun goes down. All we have to do now, we have to put those, we have to build the things that hold the batteries in before Thursday. Okay. Because we have to drive this thing on Thursday. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, yes. is to do what you just said. Yes. <laughs> Obnoxiously, way too long. That's okay. It gets the job done. I think mm. that's what I'm all about. It actually does make it easier to start threading this. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Batteries are staying. Batteries included. So, brief overview of what we've done here. Um, from start to finish, obviously we have the solar panels on the roof. They come in and they go right to this thing here. Which is? This is our Midnight Classic 150 uh, solar charge controller, MP M MPPT. And it will, it takes your solar and converts it to the exact voltages that need to be, that are required for your batteries. So from there, the positive wire goes to our terminal blocks over here. From here, it follows these wires. The positive comes across our wire trace here, over to here. This is our positive terminal block. And this is the, just, these are all hooked together. Allows me to bolt a bunch of stuff onto it. And then the negative one comes to this terminal block on this side. So they're separated. Um, from the terminal block, we go right to our inverter here, both positive and negative, same thing. And that gives us the shortest run from our batteries to this here, and that's the most efficient way to do it. From the terminal block here, this also powers the, the house. So then we come into this. This is a 300 amp fuse right here. And this is just barred straight across to this thing here. Goes through this down to our big giant 12 volt switch, which is rated for 300 amps. Comes out of here and goes to the battery. Okay. Now on the other side, over here on the negative side, um, so the solar charge controller comes into this. This is just like the terminal block in there, side, except there's a cover over it. And it... This goes to the negative to our ground, which is chassis ground also. And then it comes out of here. This is, the, it's called a current shunt. And what it does is it allows us to monitor the amount of current and voltage in our batteries, which is what this stuff goes to. And I'll show you that in a second. This is the Victron Energy, uh, was it BMV 712? And this is actually a very remarkable piece of equipment here because it has built in Bluetooth. You can program it through Bluetooth. You can kind of tell it what you have so it can more intelligently show you what you're using, how much you've used. You can look at historical data and stuff like that. And it just gives you, you can set alarms, everything. So it kind of gives you a warning when something happens. So when you spend thousands of dollars on batteries, thousands of dollars on solar and everything like that, you don't want the Chinese, uh, you know, little ammeter and voltmeter control, like telling you about everything. You want to get something that's going to reliably tell you and, and intelligently tell you if something's wrong, if you're using too much power, batteries are too low, things like that, because you can risk damaging your system. So that's why we went with this. This, this was like two hundred dollars, <laughs> but you can see right now we're using like point, you know, right right around an amp. It goes bounces around. Our battery's at thirteen point seven, like, and we're at a hundred percent battery, right there. And I was able to program it, tell it we have a thousand amp hours of batteries, so it gets an idea. It knows, you know, what you're 
your levels are going to be overall. But as far as uh, power is concerned, like the the bus is off the grid right now. We've been running the uh, our the common things we've been running just running like the refrigerator off grid he just said off grid like <laughs> it was nothing that's amazing all the light all of our stuff works without being plugged in to the grid yes that is pretty cool high five rocket my we are off grid Woo!